Hello, thank you for tuning in. This will be a uh, divine partnership. <laughs> divine partnership Scorpio full moon reading um, for the Scorpio new moon or full moon. I'm sorry, that's coming um, on the 22nd of this month. So I just wanted to tune into the energies. So for the first card, it will represent um, where we are currently in relations to our partnerships. Where are we currently on this journey? And we have power, which is the emperor. And we have King Arthur and Queen Guinevere, the couple that's depicted here. So what I feel like um, where we currently are is we're both stepping into our power, divine masculine, divine feminine energies, are tuning into their, their power. Um, I feel like the divine masculine is tuning into a, a very courageous um, stance in this connection. And the queen here, it's like they're on each other's level. Um, they're very much equally balanced. Um, this could also mean within each partner, their divine masculine and feminine energy is very much balanced, which is a great thing because that will in turn bring harmonization between um, both partners when they're both balanced within their, their selves. Their energies are balanced. So they can come together. So I feel like because they are on the same level their energies are balanced it is a powerful energy so that's currently where we are we are coming into balance within ourselves with our own feminine and masculine energies and vice versa for your partner which in turn will bring harmoni harmonization in this connection um four is a number of balance so this again is saying stability number two if you're seeing the number two to um, 22 or 222 two, two. those are numbers of harmonization and balance within yourself and in your union so you might want to pay attention to those numbers okay the next card will represent what is blocking um, unity with your your partner currently and what needs to be left behind so this is the blockage currently and we have the nine of coins which is a material aspect card. It's the 3D reality. It could also mean finances. There's doves depicted in this card, which for me are divine spirits. So what's blocking you is you may not be listening to divine guidance, which in turn will bring you about what you want, this material abundance or physical abundance, something in the physical reality that you can sense. To have what you desire is what it's saying. You're not listening. You're not embracing the guidance that is coming. That's what's blocking you. Um, I feel like this could also be your partner and yourself. These two doves are messengers. So you're both getting guidance or messages, but you're not necessarily paying attention. Or you may be shunning them or misinterpreting the messages and you're not clearly understanding. So that is a blockage or a challenge. Um, but I feel like what the, the true blockage is, is you need to be receptive to what you want. And also in order to hear divine messages, you need to be receptive to hear them. You need to be available. You need to be grounded. Coins, again, are earthly based. So you need to be grounded emotionally and mentally to hear the, the messages that wish to come through. Maybe even stepping outdoors in nature, which is a very great grounding tool to go out, step foot on grass, sit under a tree, and you can hear messages better. You're silenced. Don't take your phone with you. Don't take any music or anything with you. Just sit in silence. Maybe take a journal. Sit in silence in nature. Okay, so the next card will represent um, what intentions need to be set in order for you and your partner to grow or move forward. So the intentions to be set this full moon, we have wisdom, which is the high priestess card, and another major arcana. So this is uh, something that you really need to do. To set the intention to um, go within, gather the knowledge, you need to go deep, deep, deep within yourself. Um, like I said, take a journal with you and write. Write as you go. Maybe you've written things in the past and you need to go back to those things that you've written in relation to your partnership and gain that knowledge again. You have secret knowledge within you, sacred knowledge. 
the intention set will to be for us to go deep within ourselves to gain this inner knowledge. And feminine energies, I feel like, or if this is a male watching, I feel like you need to really tune into your feminine energy, which is which will help you and assist you with tuning into your intuition and write. Write it as it comes. Um, you might want to seek wisdom from, from a female who's very intuitive, intuitive, maybe seek guidance from a psychic or some type of spiritual counselor or someone older than you who's um, in a healthy relationship that may be able to assist you with setting some intentions on how to move forward with your partner. Okay. The next card represents um, what knowledge needs to be gained in order to cultivate your intentions this full moon. Okay. So what knowledge... Oops, sorry. <laughs> what knowledge needs to be gained? We have nine of arrows. So you need to... Um, release your worries. Arrows represents the swords and tarot, which is our mental aspects, the air, the element of air. You need to release your worries that keep you up at night because you're you're missing something. Spirit is trying to get your attention, give you a new perspective. So what knowledge do you need to gain? You need to change your perspective. In order to um, set intentions, your mind needs to be clear of something. You need to clear away worry. You need to change your perspective. He's handing her a new arrow, this spirit behind her. He's hand handing her, but she's in so much despair and sorrow and worry that she doesn't see any other um, perspective or any anything else. She's stuck. She'd rather sit and worry instead of changing her perspective. So the knowledge that you can gain in order to cultivate your intentions is I need to change my perspective. I need to be open to a different outlook, change my thoughts, um, have a more positive energy. Nines are endings. So I feel like this will um, shift. The energy will turn around for you, but you need, so that also means that you need to change and turn around your, your perspective, your thoughts in relation to your partnerships. Okay, the final card will represent what is the positive energy that will emerge during this phase. And we have Grace, which is the star card, another major arcana card. So the positive energy that will manifest in this journey or this connection, this full moon. Um, this is obtaining wishes. Um, things that seem very distant and out of reach are very much obtainable. Dreams coming true. This is a major major arcana card again these two birds are in in the card there's an angel holding a heart there's flames underneath this is a, a very passionate energy um i feel like the angels are very passionate a spiritual guide maybe a female or male spiritual guide are assisting you um, messengers again of spirit so you'll be getting a lot of messages and you need to listen to them and i feel like if you listen to those those messages and you're receptive to hearing them and receptive to what you want, it will come to you. Things will manifest for you. They'll start to manifest for you during this full moon. The full moon is of manifestations and things coming to completions. So um, this is the outcome card of the full moon of a dream coming to fruition. Um, you listening to your spiritual guidance, the both of you, you and your partner listening to spiritual guidance. This could also represent twin flame unions. There's flames underneath. So there is a spiritual guide. I get Archangel Michael is upholding and protecting the feminine energy, carrying her because I feel like she's lost her strength and her energy to move forward. So there is support there also in turn of this, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope... Um, all of your wishes and dreams come true and all of your intentions will manifest this full moon in the next coming full moon. Thank you so much for tuning in.